to painting on this beautiful canvas. As you can see, I already written down in acrylic the quote here, and uh, we're getting ready to draw. Right now, I'm gonna stand up here so you can see my beautiful face. Uh, and so, we're getting on the boat. I already drew out and I wanna color in. My colors of choice for canvas part two is yellow, uh, kind of a poopy brown yellow, poopy brown, what I call it. Uh, I have light green, dark green, white, black, and a turquoise. And the acrylics that I have been using for the last two days is these beautiful gems. Uh, I'm gonna be getting new acrylics soon, but those are just some small acrylics that I can use for canvas. Hey, Ding Dong, we're gonna be seeing you soon. Miss you, love you. Okay, let's get started with this beautiful magic. So today my goal is to make a kind of almost a picture of a girl on a sailboat. And I would love to read out to you the quote that I have. 20 years from now you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than the ones you did do. So throw, uh, so throw off the bow line. Sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, and discover. And this is a very powerful quote, and I would love to use it. A friend recommended it, and I love it so much that I decided to use it on my canvas. So here I'm going to be going in with like some black and white, almost like a gray color at the bottom. Can you guys hear me right now? Because I don't want to be yelling while I'm painting. So I'm going to be going in with the gray on the side. When you, <coughs> yep. when you talk, you need to actually look at the camera, otherwise it's hard, I can't hear you. Okay. So we're going to be going in with gray on the side where my black lines were. Just so it's a little dark, but not too light.
on track. Painting the sail. Just a little hard to hear. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to speak up because when facing. I talk, I'm usually facing this. So I'm going to try it speaking while I'm talking, looking over here. Mom, would you like to come in? Hello everyone! <laughs> well, it's so exciting to be on Traveling Art with Hannah Lay today. <laughs> hey, by the way, Happy Father's Day! Did you see Ding Dong's on here? Yeah, I saw We tried getting in contact with you guys. We'll have to call you after if you guys are still awake. Did everyone have a great Father's Day? I hope you all did. Whoa, perfect. Okay, let's get back on track. Let's... Keep going and just try to try something so I can maybe get a little closer to you. There we go. That might work babe. better, babe. Much better. Okay, we can move it around a bit. It's okay because they don't need to see the cloak because we already did that one. Yep. Okay, awesome. So I'm just going to be going in with the black on the sides. How's it looking so far, Mom? It looks good. I like the white, how you're going to start like separating yeah, it from that I'm black. I'm going to be adding some white more on the side down here. You're going to put some um, water down here then too? Maybe add yeah, to that black? Yeah, I'm going to be adding some turquoise blue. Ah, nice. Okay. All right. So we need to separate that area. And one thing that might be confusing is that, remember how we put the gray down here? We might need... I'm going to angle you, sweetie, so that your voice can look at your... There. So you can turn it in. There you can go. That was awesome. Can see it still? Yeah. Oh, Super. Mom. It's okay. Oh. Sorry. I'll fix uh, it. Can you fill up that water? Yeah. Because it's so... <laughs> So, get back on track. My mom just spilled the water, but we're good. It's overflowing, but we're good. It's going to get to the station, but we're good. <laughs> so, Sorry. <laughs> so, let's just continue black. Adding some black in here because uh, we already have gray in most of the background with the boat. Mama, can you pass me my black acrylic? Yep. Thank you. I'll put that right here. Okay. So I'll be adding some more black because I have zero de Niro. So. <laughs> Whoa. There, you that, go. there you go. Got it. Yeah, so, that's better. Let us know if you guys can see it. Give it a little heart, thumbs up. Yeah. So explain a bit how you how you make these decisions and how to do this because Holly goes through actually a pretty cool process when she's trying to figure out what to paint and how to do it, right? Yeah. So what did you do first to figure out what you wanted to create here? Well, on the cloak, uh, it is about traveling. Protect like you can't really hear your voice. Uh, on, on the quote, sorry, on the quote, <laughs> it's mainly about traveling and sailing. And I decided. Hello? Oh, yeah. Hello. There you go. <laughs> See, this is how we do it. Life of an artist. That's right. Life of a live artist, too. It's not as easy, <laughs> is it, to go live and have to deal with adjustments. I think it's a really good life lesson, though, isn't it? How to be able yeah. to paint and share what you do in your mind. How does that feel for you? Like, Because a lot of artists, they just like to keep you know, their art in their mind, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Is it a challenge for you to talk while you're sharing what you're doing? It kind of is, because... A lot of the time, you guys notice this, I will be focusing on my painting, and for like five to ten minutes, I will be silent just painting. And then I'm trying to keep up, because I don't want you guys to be bored <laughs> while I'm painting this. Can I have some of that? But that's like a really good lesson. I think it's a really great lesson, especially for us as adults and for kids, um, to start learning how to communicate, right, and express um, how you feel the things that you're doing and I tell you I know that it's you know people say oh it's hard to multitask but there is a skill and it's a practice skill when you are you're doing something and helping explain to people what you're doing it's um, it's only good for your mindset but it's a really great way to help ourselves and our parents and our kids become just better um, influencers right influencers are those that do great stuff but that they're able to share with others how they do it. And that's something that we've been really focusing on a lot with you all the time, isn't it? But let me tell you, she's going to be honest. Is it always easy? Does it always feel like you want to do it? No way. <laughs> but, but why do we do it? It's because we do it because 
we love it and it's our passion and we feel good about it and it makes us happy. Yep. And when you are able to share it and teach others, what does that do? That gives you a sense of gratitude and happiness. Ha happiness. <laughs> happiness because you're sharing what you love with others and maybe you have an interest with some other people. Yeah. That you love as well. And I think even most importantly too, it allows us to start helping teach our kids that they can become entrepreneurs. If they're good at something and they learn how to share it, do it, teach it, talk about it, that just allows you to expand yourself when you get older, doesn't it? Yeah. Because I didn't really have all that as much when I was growing up, right? We didn't, I just did my thing. But man, if you learn this early on, it's like a skill that you can't never let go. So I'm gonna let Hanalei get back to her showing you how she's gonna do this really cool, it's almost like a three-dimensional silhouette because Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot of like black and just like shading. Yeah. Almost like a sun shining from the back. Ooh, so that'll be pretty. So uh, it's gonna be like an imagined sun because on because you have two sides of it, one side and the other. The sun is on this side, so it'll be shimmering all the light on that side. Mm. But we are looking at from this side, where we can't see the back. So you'll be seeing all the darkness and shadow coming around it. Oh, wow, that's really cool, isn't it? Give yes. Hanalei lots of hearts. You've got lots of people on here today. It's awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be doing a lot of black on the bottom because one thing, it's shading from the sun, since we're facing the other way, and the other is that it's going to be uh, like from the ocean, it's very, it's starting to get darker, and we're going to be adding some turquoise blue, but I just want the turquoise blue to kind of pop in the picture, like we have this dark sailboat that's sailing away, and then we have this uh, turquoise blue water that people are sailing through. So that's kind of what I'm going for right now. And hopefully if I have enough time, I can uh, hopefully draw a person standing up and just looking out. Because it goes really well with the quote, what I think. And so yeah, I feel like that will be going good. And I'm thinking I should draw a picture on here. I'm not too think I'm not too sure yet now, but I think that might be a good idea later. So right now I'm just gonna start going in with the blue. I'm gonna wash my water. And I'm start gonna I'm gonna be starting grabbing the blue and bringing it down in to the bottom. Louder. And just stroke it. Louder. Because Oh, sorry. And stroking because then it has like a sense, it almost looks like a wave. Ah, okay. So the process styles. is like when you're doing it, it's like blending on its own as you go, yeah? Yeah, because like one wave I might do that and the other I might do this. Okay. So it's different types of waves, but the strokes go together to one. I see, okay. And then, um, so this is like a process of like almost layering where you're yeah. developing that 3D yeah. imagery, right, with that shading of this boat. And, uh, and you can't really do this with other types of things. Acrylics, uh, why I love them is because you can layer. Ooh, so yeah. if you mess up, let's say on the black lining, if I mess up and I get too thick of a letter, then I can always just wait for it to dry because it's like glue on it. Ah. It likes rubber, so it will stay there and then you can paint over it, but it has a thicker layer. So that's a lot different than like when we use watercolors because watercolors color will blend in. Yeah. Uh, Mom, those little paintings, sure as you can see right here, watercolor will blend the color together and it can make this really cool drip artifact which uh, are, is really good. Which are, where acrylics are able to layer on top yeah, of each other so they don't blend. They're able to kind of blend in yeah. some areas. But it keeps the color intact yeah. almost, right? Yeah. I think that's awesome. I love that about acrylics. I've never been an artist, but every time I watch Hanalei, I learn something new because of the techniques that she's been able to learn and apply. Look at how cool that is, Hanalei. Look, you can see the difference. You're already starting to see the 3D effect yeah. and that shade because the sun's behind that boat. Pretty neato. 
All right. Hey, Peter. Good to see you guys here. Join the Traveling Art with Hannah Lay. She's got some really fun stuff happening. It's kind of a cool show to watch. Do you guys get to watch? It's funny. We teach all of our clients that are building their brands to do live videos, and we've got to be able to do them ourselves. So it's a good example. <laughs> Mom, you know my paintbrush yep. thing? Can you pass it over? Yep. I want to try seeing if I can have a thicker brush. Okay. Because this one is, uh, yeah, we can use this one. So we're going to be going with a thicker brush so it's easier and faster to make your strokes. And they're much bigger. So your strokes will no longer be small. They will be very, almost like big, fat, very like smoother almost. It's hard to kind of say, but it will be like in that area that it will make a good sense. Okay. So let me back I got white all over my hands already and it's already been like three minutes so I'm just gonna get that blue blending so I can get the same color hopefully I will get a totally new color and then I'll look more like layers either way it works so I'm just gonna start getting more of that color and I'm just gonna start going still hear me uh, just making sure because I don't want to sound like a little mice just like, like that so I'm gonna s I want you guys to be able to hear me because otherwise it sounds So let's just paint the rest of the ocean that we see in this paint. And I think I might do a streak of sunlight in the blue water. So you can actually see that there's light coming from the other angle. And after I do that streak of sunlight, I'm going to be doing the person on standing on the boat waiting for adventure. I'm just going to finish this area of water and we should start doing the person. Hopefully. I'm sorry if you guys can't see this area. I just need to touch up the ends. Okay, we got that now. So now I'm going to get my fine brush, very tiny, as you can see, very small, perfect for a detail. So I'm going to be going in with my black, and I'm almost going to be like making it a stick figure. Hopefully this doesn't end horribly. I'm going to have to go in with another color later, but I just need to, okay, that's, we're going to erase that. guys see that? Yeah, give me a like or a thumbs up if you can still see that person or what I call a whatever that is. 
I don't even have a name for it. It's like, what is that? Hanalei, what monstrosity have you made today? So I'm just going to go and find my name. good, better than before. Now I'm going to go in kind of in a little more detail with the black. What should I do next? Hmm. I'm wondering if I should do a star, but if we're doing it with a shadow, it's not going to work. I'm going to go back into the world and do a little detail. What should I do? Otherwise, I feel like I'm done. This looks amazing. I might need to tighten up a little bit on the side. taco cat. Not one of my best ideas, but it's going to be good. So come back for taco cat time. See you next time, and be unstoppable!